Well, today we're talking about sports and hobbies, and we have a fun collection for you. To begin with, we have a little book of sports and hobbies. Now, these are so popular. They're four and an eighth by five and seven eighths. You're going to get six each of 25 or 24 different images. So that's 144 sheets. I think that will take care of us. Then we have a collection of four topper sets and we have river walks, time for yourself, a really good time that's fishing and a flip and grate that has to do with barbecue, something for the men in your life. And we have some great cards from ha ha Heidi <laughs> to, uh, to share with you. So please come play with us. Now, before we get into Heidi's cards, let me set these aside. And I just wanna show you what's inside each of these um, deco large sets. So let me just show you. Here is the really good time, which is fishing, as I said. So each one will have a sheet like this. They call it a base layer, a large piece, some borders, as well as a greeting. Then there is a sheet with all of the pieces, also foiled, also die cut. And then there is a patterned cardstock. So as you can see, everything matches and you can use these to layer on top of each other. You can use this separately or in conjunction with these. And that is true of every single set. So really good time with the um, fishing. Also the flippin' great day, which is about barbecue. And then we also have the river walks and time for yourself, which is kind of gardening and things like that. So let me just show you what Heidi has done. So she is starting with the um, a little book of, and this, as I said, has 144 sheets. The one in the front is, or in fact, the one that she's used all the way through this card is this one. It's a racing card, horse racing. So, but again, the techniques can be used on any of the pieces. So let me just show you what, what Heidi's done. I'm gonna open this up. You can see it's acetate on the front, but I just wanna start with the card base. And you can see that there are flowers behind there. Well, Heidi, let's see. Okay, stay open. <laughs> we'll see if that works. She used um, the um, Meadow Blooms 12 by 12 cardstock. It has um, lots of borders and things in it, and she used that to create her card base. So this is five by six and a half inches. Then she took one of these. Now again, you know that you're gonna get six of each one. So she took this, and matted it onto the silver metallic cardstock, really pretty, and glued that at an angle on the inside of her card. Okay, so that becomes our card base. Then the acetate is going to be on the top. The acetate, we sell by the sheet or we also sell it in the heat resistant acetate. So whichever one you like. And you're going to cut a piece that's going to be six and a half inches and five and a half inches, okay? Then at the, uh, at the top of this, on the back side, if you'll just put a strip of the, ex of the extra sticky tape, this is the tape with the red liner, and just put it right along there, and then that will attach to the back of that first piece that you made. Okay, I just thought it'd be easier for you to see this rather than a clear piece of acetate, but the clear piece is what she has used. Now we're going to be using this extra sticky tape later, so I'll just keep that close by. Now you can see that she's done something very fun, and I don't recall ever seeing this before. She has an oval with a circle in the middle of it, and then a smaller circle nested offset in the center of that, okay? So you see all that, the oval, the other circle, and then a smaller circle that's not smack dab in the middle, it's offset. The reason it's offset is because it's matching the image on the inside. So what she did is she very cleverly <laughs> took the um, oval and scallop dies and used a one that is a straight edge and place that on top of her, um, her, her piece, 
of this and making sure that it's going to up, align up, okay? Then she took two of the circles and placed them, one right here, and that's pretty, well, it really is off-centered also, and then a smaller one right on top. So you have all three of those at the same time going through, let me see, she's got two pieces plus a piece of white cardstock. So you want to do all three of those using those three dies. Very clever lady. Now, when you pull them out, you just want to make sure that they're going to match up with the image on the inside, okay? And that's not difficult to do. So you're going to take your first layer and you can foam tape that down. Then you can foam tape the second layer on top. We'll save the white piece for later. Do the same thing with the center one, again, matching it. And you have six of these, so you'll have one on the inside that you can watch, but you'll have another one that you can kind of place on top and just make sure that the things are aligned so that they match, okay? Now, she also took some of our uh, jewel dazzles, and this is out of the silver uh, pearl, and it's very, luxurious. <laughs> I guess that's good for horse racing. She's just placed them on each corner but on the acetate, okay? You don't have to zot it. The adhesive will, will stay there. Then at the top up here, she has wrapped the 1 8 inch ribbon around the fold. And I think it's really kind of neat that she uh, wrapped it and tied it, and then she took two other pieces of the ribbon and knotted them on top of that base ribbon. So that just adds a little bit. And then she has a knotted piece right down here. You can see that that was zotted in place, and this is just wrapped and held in place. So that takes care of it. Um, oh, no, it doesn't take care of it. I stand corrected. Okay, so the inside here, now you would be seeing foam tape, so she didn't want that. So that white piece of cardstock that you did, that's going to get um, uh, extra sticky taped down, and so is this piece. Now the Sending Smiles, that is a new set of dazzles that we have. Again, it's black, white, gold, and silver. You can see she used the silver. And there are flowers and hearts and some different things in there. You can see that she added the flowers right around there. So that took care of it. Okay. Now, when you're doing that acetate, you will want to uh, score it. Uh, Heidi loves to use the adorable scoreboard because it's just so easy to use, and it has a bone folder that's embedded in it, so that just makes it easy, too. Okay, while this is done with the horse racing images, you can certainly do it with anything and follow that process. Okay, now let's go to our next one. And this is also out of the little book. So she's giving us two of them. Now, this is um, a gentleman just taking a walk. And Heidi's done a couple of different things. So the first layer is with the um, gold metallic cardstock. So you can see that it's there down at the base. Now, Heidi did take this image and she also matted it on gold glitter. So the gold glitter with the gold metallic, you can see how nicely those go. And she did it right here. So she just matted it, it has about an eighth of an inch mat, so it's pretty narrow. Now I do have to confess something to you. Heidi used lime green glitter. We don't have lime green glitter anymore, and I've told her that. But I do want to tell you, I have a substitution for you. How about pistachio? Pistachio is going to do a nice job. It's in the green family, and you can also use that to mat. So just don't want to leave you hanging here. So that was matted and um, foam taped onto the glitter. So you can see that two golds and a green, just nicely done. Now. Because you get six pieces of this, whoops, excuse me, because you get six, well, you get six pieces of all of them, um, you can cut them out, and that's what Heidi has done. So she um, 
you know, has that base piece down. And then she cut out going around that path that he's on and going around him. So that became the second layer. The third layer is walkway on this side, just that banister, if you will, the puppy, the gentleman, and uh, also this little uh, sign that's hanging there. Those become the next layer. Now she elected to take a piece of white cardstock, or you could use the back of any of these because they're white. She matted it on the green and uh, glued it in the corner there. Now the missing you is part of our We're Together Dazzle set. And this comes in black, white, gold, and silver. <laughs> it just makes it easier. And that was attached there. And to make her bow, well, of course, it's Heidi. So she uses Hunky Dory's Bow Maker because it is foolproof. And then she used our one quarter inch glimmer ribbon. So as you can see, that's going to do a nice job. Now, I inadvertently showed you that image, but that's because it's in the inside of the card. And let me open that up and show it to you. Okay. So there you go. Now, to get her inside, she's done a couple of things. She did cover the whole inside with that gold um, glitter, excuse me, the gold, um, yeah, the gold glitter paper. And then she cut a strip of the green, glued it there about an inch from the fold, and then another little piece right here. And then this little guy, that gets matted onto the gold metallic, okay? And that gets glued down on top. And then a bow right there, the Love You, is also out of the We're Together Dazzles. There you go. And it's all done just very easily. Now, just wanted to show you these two because in the little book, you are going to get um, the same image done a little di differently so that you can do things like Heidi just did with this card. And she does like to use the extra sticky tape. In this case, she called for the half inch in using this card, so that would work well. Okay, so we've had two cards out of the little book of, now we're gonna do a couple of cards out of the topper set. So I showed you this really good day set. And this is the card that Heidi has made. Now in this case, she, she hasn't used that base layer. So that's for something else a little bit later. Uh, she did, however, use this piece. And that is going to become the front or it's going to become the front of her card. How neat is that? Now, she took her card and cut off, well, actually, you can do it one of two ways. I think the easiest way is going to be is to open up your card and go ahead and glue this to it, but just go over to this torn edge, okay? So put glue there, 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 all, all the sides. Place this, position it along the fold at the bottom, turn it over and trim it to fit. Then you can go back in and trim right along that torn, torn, okay, like that, torn edge, and that way it will work nicely. Now, remember the card that she just did where she cut out all those layers? Well, when you've got the topper set, it's a lot easier than cutting. All you have to do is just pop them out, just like it's going on right here all by itself. So you can see that there are a lot of pieces there. So you can elect to use all of them or just some of them. It is your choice. And um, if you do all of them, boy, this is going to get thicker. So you're probably going to want to hand deliver this or maybe tuck it into a package uh, and, and mail it. Or you can just do a few layers, but they all have gold foiling on them. I'm hoping you can see that and you can elect just how you're going to do it. You generally want to start with the largest piece first, and then go to the next largest, the next largest, and so forth. It's fun because this also has the greeting on it, especially for you. And foam tape, well, that's easy to do. And we do have the 400 piece um, of dazzles that, or, excuse me, of 
foam tape that's smaller pieces if you need that. And we also have the big roll, so however you want to use that. One point I want to make here is that you don't have to use all the layers. As a matter of fact, in this case, I think I might save that one for another card and maybe just use these pieces and um, kind of stretch, stretch your dollar. So that's a nice thing to do. Heidi has used the gold and silver ribbons. And I think that's an interesting choice because I don't know that you would necessarily think of uh, gold and silver ribbons with a Fisher person, but she did and it works nicely. She also added a crystal. This is the crystal shimmer. And you can, I hope you can see, they are clear, but they all have a diamond uh, kind of faceted on top. And that's just going to be attached there. So that takes care of the front of your card. Now the inside of your card, okay, we used this piece for the front. So now we're going to turn this and use this piece for the inside, okay? Glue all the way around, position this along the fold and along one edge. Turn it over, trim it to fit, and you are good. Okay, that works well. Now, you can take this uh, greeting from the piece and just glue it there. I like how she did that border and glued it there with one of the other greetings, so that's nice. Another bow and a couple more of those um, crystal sparkles, and your card is done and you've got pieces left over to make more cards, so good for you. Okay, now we have another, and this is, um, let me just get this for you. And this is the last one, and this is using the um, Flippin' Great Day, the barbecue one. Okay, here is her card, and there it is, okay. So she is also using that pattern cardstock, and let me show you. Actually, I'll place these together. So, eh, that's not working. Okay, so here's the card, and look how it folds out. So that's going to be a Z card or S card. And the way that she created that is she's using this piece and She's going to cut it 10 inches long, making sure that she starts here, and six and a half inches tall. So when you score that in the middle at the five inch mark, you've got our regular five by six and a half inch card, but you're gonna do another score, and you're going to score the top piece in half. So we're gonna go two and a half inches and five inches from the left side. That those are your two score lines, okay? Place the top one in a mountain fold and the center one in a valley, just like you normally would. But what she's done is she's created this massive card front, so very fun. And she's got a mirror image, so that's fun to do. Now, let me show you where these came from. We'll start with the card front. So this piece, excuse me, before I go there, I do want to point out that this, this top panel has got just a piece of the, so you've, you've trimmed this out to 10 inches, so you're going to have a piece left, and that's where she has trimmed this panel, okay? So it's going to be two and a half inches by six and a half inches, okay? So that will take care of you there. Then this base piece is what she's used here, and it's already foiled, so you don't need to mat it, and just glue it down, just glue the left side of it to the left side of your card. Then she has taken some of these and has foam taped them on top. So you can decide how you wanna do that. But then what I thought was really clever is that she took the largest piece, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, yes. Actually, you've got two that are large. I think this is the most complete. And instead of using it on her card front, she used it on her card inside and placed it over the image of the, um, the guy there, okay? So it's just on top. She foam taped it. So that way you've got some dimension here as well as dimension here. Again, that's what I meant when I said you can break them up and use them however you like. Now for accents, 
she has done a really nice job of uh, using the um, here we go. These studs. These are the gold studs. Very manly looking, don't you think? A couple of them on top there, and then a couple right inside. So these borders, or this border, comes from this set. And then you have the border here, which comes from also this piece. So that worked out very nicely. So she, again, you've got the greetings that come from, whoops, did I just show you the wrong one? I beg your pardon. Okay, here is the border, and then here is that border, okay? Keep it together, Paulette, okay. And um, the, uh, hope you have a flippin' great day. That is also on this sheet, okay. And then you are done. No ribbons on this, but we do have the gold studs. So this is a very unique collection. I just want to kind of put it all back together for you so that you can see these four are sold together. Okay, so we've got the um, river walks, which you saw a version of that on the, uh, out of the little book. And we've got the flipping great day. We have the time for yourself, which as I said, is kind of gardening. And then also, our fisher person, our fisherman, and then the little book of. So you've got a lot of art and a lot of die cuts to work with. Okay, as always, Heidi has provided us with instructions. They are down below. You can click on the card or cards that you want. Look over on the right-hand side and you'll see the instructions. You can print them out if you want to. And um, there is a money saver, as always. It's on the right side of your screen. And you're going to get a discount if you like all of them. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, as always, we hope that you will like us. We'd love to hear your comment. It's so many people ask for things for men, and this is a really nice collection. And I've just shown you really just a little bit of it, but there's a lot more, especially in the little book. Um, and we hope that you will subscribe also while you're there at YouTube. Come on over to paperwishes.com, take advantage of the money saver, look at the instructions, print them off if you want. And um, I wanna thank Heidi for giving us such a really nice variety of projects and some fun techniques. I wanna thank you for being part of our Paper Wishes family. Bye-bye.